Now this, a group of parents vowing to take their fight against a school board all the way to the Supreme Court after a federal appeals court sided against them, saying that an elite Northern Virginia high school's admission practices are not discriminatory against Asian Americans. The legal battle began back in 2020 when Thomas Jefferson High School changed its admission policy in an attempt to diversify the student body. The changes include setting aside seats for local students and getting rid of standardized testing. A group of concerned parents later filed a lawsuit saying that Asian American students have been disproportionately affected. A district judge agreed and said that the policies were discriminatory. But this new ruling from a three-judge panel at the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals struck down that decision. However, an appeal has been filed, and parents are saying they are prepared to take this case all the way to the Supreme Court. Let's bring in Azra Namani. She is the co-founder of the Coalition for Thomas Jefferson, a senior fellow of the Independent Women's Network and author of Woke Army. Uh, it's interesting when you take a look at the politics and the, and the political leanings of these judges when you go through it. First, the original ruling was Judge Claude Hilton. He was a Reagan appointee who said, yes, this was discriminatory against Asian Americans. The, uh, the two-judge majority on the Fourth Circuit, Judge Robert King, was a Clinton appointee. Judge Toby Haytens was a Biden appointee. And the Fourth Circuit minority judge, Judge Allison Rushing, was a Trump appointee. Now, critics say that Democrats, in this case, who typically speak out against discrimination and racism, are engaging in a form of racism against Asians. What do you say? Oh, absolutely. This is the new racism of wokeism in America today. We were in the trenches, John, in the summer of 2020 when we first started understanding that the school board was putting a hit on Asian students in order to virtue signal in this new era of racial reckoning, right? And so what did they have? Literally, they started reading critical race theory. Mm. This is the Bible, right, for the new ideology of the woke industrial complex. And who did they bring, John? You're going to be a Fairfax County public schools parent, right? They brought in this man, Ibram X. Kendi. And here, John, you can see what he, one of his How to be preachings. An yeah. yeah, one of his preachings is the only remedy to past discrimination is present discrimination. And so, John, that's how, indeed, a 12 0 Democratic school board rammed this new policy in through the system in the fall of 2020. And we have the new racism of this rate of discrimination against Asian families. Thomas Jefferson High School, which is a STEM high school, it's a magnet school. It consistently ranks as the top uh, public high school in all of the country, it was always merit based. Yeah. Admission. Here's what Judge Allison Jones Rushing wrote in her dissent. Quote, the policy of Fairfax County reduced offers of enrollment to Asian students at TJ by 26 percent while increasing enrollment of every other racial group. This was no accident. The board intended to alter the racial composition of the school in exactly this way. Uh, I, again, TJ had a longstanding policy of, of merit enrollment. And, and why were there predominantly Asian students? In, in, in that school because they work hard. And, and typically, in an Asian family, education is a, an, a whole of family approach, which is why they do well. But instead of raising the floor for other students to do better at school and compete for some of the slots, they lowered the ceiling and kept people out. Yeah, Matt, you, you, sorry, like Matt Taibbi just mm -hmm. now, John, I've been a lifelong Democrat. So I moved to Virginia in 2008 when my son was in kindergarten because the state had voted for President Obama. But what I have witnessed now is that this entire Democratic machine has decided that Asians are the inconvenient minority for their narrative. And I brought also the yearbook for Thomas Jefferson High School for my son's graduating class. If you look at these images, this is diversity expressed. You know, their names like Rohan and Rishab and, you know, Ramaswamy is a last name. Kids with immigrant parents from China, from Korea, from India, the Eastern Europe. And John, we are diversity, right? But the wrong kind of diversity. We're on the wrong side of brown for these ideologues. And, um, and I can tell you, though, we chose America. My father came in the 1960s, John. It was education that brought us here, merit and equality. And we're going to fight. We're going to walk up the steps of the Supreme Court, and we're going to win. Yeah, you, you tweeted, hello, U.S. Supreme Court, goodbye racism. Given, given the makeup of the Supreme Court, 
Do you expect that they will overturn the Fourth Circuit? We will absolutely win. I sat, John, at the mm -hmm. arguments for the Harvard UNC Chapel Hill case that's going to be revealed in its judgment pretty soon. And I could feel that the judges that are on our side on this point care. They care about the fact that, do you know, John, that Asian students are now hiding their identities because when did we see this before? When Jewish students were being targeted, right? And that's not the America we want. And I'm confident, I am absolutely certain that we are going to win. And we're not only winning for this school and for these students, but for America, because this new racism is going everywhere, right? Well, From we'll, the workplace to the schools. We'll be watching this case very closely. Azra Namande, always good to spend time with you. Thank you, John. Thanks we're going to win. Right, Thank you. It. Sandra? All right.